Michelle, we welcome Serena Van Hagen to address the class as valedictorian. It would be remiss of us 
they doubt your wisdom. Flight without wisdom could still send us crashing into the briny oceans because without wisdom, we lack guidance. Fortunately, we've learned a great deal in our years at the ranch. We've learned our future directions as leaders, artists, engineers, doctors, teachers, lawyers, entrepreneurs, comedians, and yes, even professional nappers. We've learned patience. The architects of the school parking lot made sure of it. <laughs> We've learned that it's better to ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission, because nothing is permitted by Mr. Calvi. <laughs> And now, today, as Cinco's doors close behind us, and as we turn the page to the next chapter in our lives, we must remember just one more thing. We know nothing. Zip, zero, you said, not a. Of course, we know enough algebra to get by. We know far too much about the American Civil War. We know how to scribble mom's signature so that when we squint it looks just about right. But we don't really know anything about life itself. Because now, we've ended a chapter in which we amass knowledge and have begun one in which we will cultivate wisdom. We will discover that Cinco Ranch High School is nothing like the rest of the world. Sadly, when we break laws, we won't get Mrs. Coolman's purple passes with smiley face stamps. <laughs> Our bosses won't be anything like Mr. Crawl. <laughs> they will not be able to make bad news sound as sweet as molasses. <laughs> but a pecan. <laughs> we won't get to borrow at zero interest from mom and dad's ATM to purchase princess teddy bears for our moms. Instead, we will have to flip coupons just to pay rent. We won't have trash booths that magically empty overnight. We will have to be the custodians of our own debris for the rest of our lives. We won't have security guards on constant watch to draw invisible lines. We will have only our own judgment to navigate dark alleys. We won't have the blessing of tardy belts to tell us when and what to do. We will have to manage vast oceans of time ourselves, juggling work, errands, and family. We won't be blessed with the long after-school hours that our teachers and counselors donate. We will have to labor even longer hours someday teaching children of our own. No, Synchro Ranch High School is not like the rest of the world. Rather, it is a safe haven, a cozy corner, a sunny harbor. So we have become a bit sheltered in the process. We have become the generation of fun, fair, positive, everything where everyone must win, yet 47 place ribbons must exist. We have become the generation of solution manuals and instant gratification, where all questions must have an answer, easily Google or cha-cha. <laughs> we have become the generation of over-diagnoses, where every disorder, every idiosyncrasy, needs and must have a name. We have become a generation of easy knowing and easy going. So the transition will not be an easy one. And as we create our next to look around the corner in anticipation of tomorrow, it is natural for us to fear what our futures hold. The skies will be filled with many attempts of waxing wings by the remaining sun. But if we embrace the fact that we, like everyone, 
will inevitably experience failure, living beyond single righteous doors will be that much easier. If we embrace the certainty of uncertainty, falling won't hurt quite as much. Future rejections will sting a little less, and belly flops will be expected rather than avoided. 10, 20, 50 years from now, it won't matter how much money we accrue or what titles we hold. It won't matter what our Snapchat score was or how many followers we had or how many Facebook friends we've added. What will matter is the real friends we have made and the character we have built. Yes, the stories we will write will be laden with mistakes. The pages will be filled with crossed out lines. Some pages will warrant being ripped out altogether. And we will accept then what we cannot fathom today, that we know nothing. But never forget, Cinco Ranch's unclassic class of 2014 is also a class of unlimited potential. And in time, after falling, after fearing, we will reap the fruit of wisdom and of experience. In time, we can and we will achieve greatness. Because although Single Ranch High School is nothing like the rest of the world, it should be. It is now our responsibility to make the rest of the world like Single Ranch. Remember all our grandiose ideas at the Cooper Challenge? We will be the dreamers and innovators of tomorrow. Remember how we sat at cafeteria lunch tables that knew no ethnic or economic boundaries? We will disintegrate the veiled lines of racism, sexism, and class structure that plague our society. Remember the way we felt freshman year during teacher sit-ins? We will speak with conviction for those who remain voiceless. Remember the loved ones we lost? We will rise from our petty differences and will never take each other for granted. Remember how our families were always there for us, through laughter and tears? We will do the same for each other, no questions asked. Remember what we learned as Coopers at our pet battles, musicals, dances, and competitions? That success is not a zero-sum game. We will be teammates, colleagues, business partners, understanding that our own individual success is linked indelibly. So most of all, we will stand together in solidarity. By remembering our lessons at Single Ranch, we can and we will be the change that we want to see in the world. So here's to belly flops and countless bubbles. Here's to broken hearts and 47 place ribbons. Here's to unwritten chapters. Here's to fewer selfies and more unselfies. Here's to flying too high. Here's to knowing absolutely nothing and experiencing absolutely everything. Thank you. Thank you. 